All right, it's Michael. I'm back. I know I haven't dropped a video in a few weeks as I got a chance to escape the brutal weather we've been having in Toronto. But I was on vacation. I was actually visiting the great country of Thailand. For those who haven't been, make sure you get a chance to get out there because it's absolutely beautiful. Highly recommended. But back to business. Today we're talking about, we're getting caught up with the numbers, what happened in January. Let's talk about it coming up next. Pow! All right, Michael Jacobs back here and welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, as always, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification for more great market news on the Toronto real estate market. Now, today we're doing just a recap of what happened in January as I've been away. And for that reason, YouTube's been quiet on my channel. But getting back to business, we're gonna go over, basically I'm just gonna do a recap of the numbers. I'm not gonna go into too much detail as um, if you've been following the market, I'll tell you right now, there's a good thing that I wasn't back so soon because the numbers are almost identical from 2018 in January. So just jumping into it, sales in 2019 hit just over 4,009. Again, very low as 2018, we hit 39.87. Active listings, 11,962. Now this is also up from 2018 slightly, which hit 11,894 which brings our total months of inventory to three months of inventory. We're gonna go more into the MOI in a few minutes here, but average price hit 7,048, 328,000, which is again up from last year this time at 735, 874. Now, again, these numbers are very, very similar from 2018, which is, uh, you know, like I said, last year we had a very slow start um, and you know it did pick up in the second half of the year, but again, very slow. If you watch my prediction videos, I had um, you know overall very similar numbers from 2018 is gonna happen to 2019. So far I'm on the, you know, on the point, on the mark for that. But uh, again, the good news is these numbers are slightly higher, which is positive. Now, I want to go into months of inventory a little bit more because uh, most of you, if you are getting into the market, um, understanding where you're at um, and what you're buying is gonna really understand and help you navigate the market. Um, and when I mean this, when we look at months of inventory as a, a total is three months, which is very low. And when we talk about months of inventory, Typically what we're talking about is the num number amount of sales needed to absorb current inventory if no more inventory came up. This is what we gauge on how the market's doing. As inventory um, drops and sales go up, price is gonna increase because supply and demand. So this is a number I highly suggest everyone watch because this dictates price of what's going on right now. If inventory continues to grow and sales decline, well, there's a price drop that's gonna happen because there's a, you know abundance of inventory on the market and with less sales, this you know, begin to pile up, buyers have more choice, and at that point, become more picky and then have the edge. But when we break it down, it's a seller's market if it's under four months of inventory. Between four and five months is a balanced market, and buyer's market is when it's over five months. Now, as I said, I wanna go into months of inventory a little bit more specific to maybe what you're trying to buy, whether it be detached, semi, townhouse, and all that. Um, as I said, the overall market right now is sitting at three months of inventory, but when we further break down uh, property type, detached is coming in at 4.2 months of inventory, so that's hit a more of a balanced market, which is, you know, as the higher we go up in price range, you're gonna see a bigger inventory, um, allowing people to shop around and take their time. Now, the interesting thing enough is when we look at semi-detached, you're looking at 1.7 months of inventory, which is a seller's market, um, as well as condo townhouses is sitting at two months of inventory, townhouses at 2.4 months of inventory, and condo apartments at 2.1 months of inventory. Now, what does this mean? Anyone, like I said, when you're in the um, seller's market, you're gonna see in some areas multiple bids still. You're gonna see uh, inventory coming up and pretty much selling within you know days on the market. Uh, definitely under the average, 
um, monthly um, days on the market. So anyone in these price ranges or in these types of properties, you definitely want to, you know, when you get out there, make sure you're all T's are crossed and dot, I's are dotted in terms of financing and your conditions that going into these properties that you want to try to beat out the competition. So you want to get into these properties right away. You want to get them under contract right away because the longer you wait, they will sell. And at some point, you may be settling for a property that may not be your first choice. But again, if you, you know, act fast and get everything lined up right beforehand, you can beat out a lot of people that are still just beginning to look at stuff. Now talking about the detached market, which is more of a balanced market, um, you're going to have, obviously it's not a seller's market, not a buyer's market, but, um, overall it's in between. So what you're going to have there is in, in busy areas and very competitive areas, you're still going to have properties that are priced right, selling right away, but you do have more time to kind of figure out what you're doing based on, you know, inventory is a little more, uh, bigger, um, in the detached market. Now for those shopping into the more luxury market and luxury, I mean, we'll say over $2 million. Um, these areas inventory is definitely piling up and especially if you go even higher into the three, four, five million dollar range, um, you're going to find that inventory is much greater. And as you leave the GTA and go further out again, inventory is going to uh, start to add up as you go into King city, you're probably looking at 10 months of inventory. So it's very big on the buying side, um, as the buyers have the edge. So for those in this type of situation, you know, take your time. You still want to have all your, um, you know, financing and everything lined up. Uh, so when you do go in and uh, make any offers, you can kind of make, um, you know, a very clean offer. You can, you can definitely go in much lower and hopefully you don't, uh, you know, piss off the uh, listing agent on uh, coming in lower. But at the end of the day, in certain price ranges, most agents are just happy for an offer because it allows them to work their clients down um, and again maybe work you up to the right price so um, something to keep in mind detached market um, a little bit more different than uh, all the other property types as the other like I said are still in sellers markets and very competitive so there you have it guys quick update just wanted to cover the numbers as I've been out of town and uh, just getting everyone caught up to speed of what's going on uh, I'll be dropping a bunch of videos in the next couple of weeks just to get everyone caught up with a bunch more things I want to be talking about. Um, but like, comment, share. Love to hear your opinion on this and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.